Hey Sebastian, this is Paradox Interviews. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Uh, we're great, thanks for asking. So we're here to talk about um, Incognito, The Awakening, directed by Shreyansh Tiwari, starring Francha Verma, uh, Sebastian Batanda, and um, Mr. Angel Close. This is a Verma production, so. So, um, talking about Incognito, uh, initial thoughts, what do you feel? Uh, it was a good movie. It was um, it was good. It was fun filming. Um, only downside was uh, COVID. You know, it cut down our time, our um, our ability to, you know, make finish the movie. All right. Um, so uh, talking about Incognito, what were your thoughts about the audience reactions to it? I saw the the good comments on the posts that we posted um, on. Paradox Films on Instagram. Um, I'm happy with the support that we got. It was the comments, and I'm glad that people saw um, the hard work and the finished film. So, um, going to, into more specifics, uh, what do you think about the overall direction of the film? Shrey, um, the director of our film, was um, awesome. I'd say it was it was it was fun filming because um, you really it was it was like a it wasn't like director actor interactions. It almost felt like just three friends just filming, and it, it felt natural. So, um, going to actors, um, how was your experience working with uh, Pranchi Varma? Well, <laughs> I've I've known Pranchi since like fourth or fifth grade, so um, it it was fun. Um, there's, you know, knowing somebody that long, it's kind of like a, you know, whatever you do, you it's like. The relationships just always there, so you know you know who you're working with. So it was just like it felt like playing around, really. So I heard he he was the one who really got you into the film, and he introduced it to you. So uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, um, I think it was in in a class he first approached me. It was in Apes, I believe. Um, it was it was a uh, I was hesitant at first because I. Never had really experience with acting, but um, he uh, again he convinced me, and I gave it a shot. It was fun. I don't regret it at all. Um, what do you think about filming with Mr. Angel Quills? I am um, like we both know that he really gave up a lot of his time and uh, put in a lot of effort, and um, had to sacrifice some of his own time to work with the creator. So, what would you like to say about it? Um, first of all, I just want to thank him. I mean, um, let it be known that I met him. I, I haven't known him the same amount of time that um, Pranchu has, but um, it was it was good to meet somebody new and work with somebody new. It was a it was a nice experience, and again, I just want to thank him for his time because he did give up his time, his own time, and put in the work for us to um, help complete the the film. Looking at the location, um, predominantly there was just one location that we saw mainly, which was the um, the the uh, the dojo. And it was martial arts dojo, and I'm sure you went many times to rehearse, to you know, shoot, and everything. So, how was the location like? But what can you tell us about that? The location, the dojo. Um, it was, I don't know. I mean, the way the way I see it, so with a short film like this, with predominantly one setting, um, when you think of the film or the people around you with the film, all I can picture is that dojo. So. I'm, I'm happy because it was it was um, perfect for the film and it was just um, a really nice setting. setting yeah, yeah it, it worked out really well and thankful for the um, owners of the dojo to let us. Knowing that uh, these student projects have worked on a pretty tight budget and um, you guys didn't have the most money in the world to work off with, so how did the there was an obvious lack of equipment and stuff. So how did that affect the production? So how it affected the film is it limited us on really um, the amount of time we had to work with because there was a lot of um, moving around who holds what, who, um, you know, obviously who's going to be in front of the camera, who's going to be behind the camera. Um, again, it was just three guys one month and um, it the, the budget, you know, kind of affected the the production as in, like, 
really what we could do and what we couldn't. So. Um, so during the film, there was a lot of promotional stuff released, such as some teasers and some um, posters. How do you think that affected the overall hype of the film? How did it affect your perception of the film and how did it affect those kind of elements? So those posters and like the teasers, um, it really, you could, you could tell it was hyping people up because of the comments on Instagram. And, and I'm glad it worked out like that. And it was hyping us up too. You could ask all three of us who's hyping us up um, and it definitely had people looking forward to to the film and I I want to say they weren't let down but they were talking about the goods of the film um, there were there was there were there were a lot uh, we got a lot of um, the creators got a lot of positive messages and um, there was a lot of positivity for the most part so um, what would you like to say to those people who, who rated, who, who liked it? Um, thank you for your support. You know, um, obviously these two guys, um, they've brought you and Trey. They've they've been doing this, and this was my first time doing something like this. So, thanks for the support, and um, you know, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It took a lot of time, um, and effort, and um, you know, thank you, I guess. And. Obviously, there were some negative comments as well. Um, there were some things that people pointed out that, you know, sometimes they, they just don't make sense. And you don't really see that until, what, 100, 200, 300 more people see it as well. So, what would you like to say towards those mistakes that were made? Um, again, it was a month with limited budget, with limited time. You know, obviously some mistakes were going to be made, but again, it's criticism. We'll take that in and we'll, we're going to you know, evaluate it and think about the future of how we're going to do it, especially with these guys um, making more films and, and um, you know, thanks for pointing it out and uh, thanks for your input. <laughs> Knowing that this is one of your first time or if not the first time you were acting for a film and um, it, you were immediately thrown into a villain role and it was like, well, he killed his own father and then we get to know we, we don't get to know the full story of why you're doing what you're doing, but we just know what events what events happened and what you did. So, um, how would you describe being the villain of this film? So, being the villain, and like you said, being my first time acting, um, it was it was fun, it was tricky, and pretty much any um, description you can think of, it was all of the above. Because it's a again, it's a new experience, but I'm thankful that I was I was giving the, the opportunity but um I, I like to think that it, it worked out for the film and um especially with the relationship I have with Pranchu the protagonist of the film so it, it kind of it wasn't too hard to um you know get that chemistry so I I do I do like to think that it, it worked out for the best um before the film was uh, was really in uh production sort of stage. There was a lot of pre-planning going on uh, between the creators. So um, maybe uh, how much of a role did you have in the pre-planning, if any? Um, I like, uh, let it be known that I was kind of brought in a bit before filming. So I, um, I was ran by the ideas and they told me what was going to go on, what was going to be really the film. And um, yeah, I had, I had a like input, but it was more like um, revising and and kind of like a how would you say like a, a pre pre premiere, I guess. Yeah, sure. yeah. So like they were just running by the stuff, and yeah. so really these guys, the Pancho and Trey, they were um really the masterminds behind this. After the film was released, and um, in like the one or two hours after it was released, and those uh, immediate reactions came out. And you saw the premiere on YouTube. Um, what were your thoughts then? Like, how were you feeling? Like, oh, my first film is finally out. Yeah, it was, it was surreal because you kind of like see yourself on a screen, and you're not used to that. And then also you're, you're thinking about the memories you made in that dojo, and you're just um, it's it's a weird feeling. But uh, especially seeing all those people react and comment, it something that you made and others made you know with a lot of hard work and effort 
Um, it paid off. How much do you think of a say you have in the um, in the actual production itself, and like the filming and the script changes on the spot, and ideas being thrown around last minute? How much of a role did you think you had? Um, in the role that I had, um, again, it was it was three guys making this film, and I've known one of them for many years. I was introduced to Shrey into this um, film, like the start of it. So I had that opportunity to really um, get to know him through the production and the, the friendships were just made there. And it, the relationship allowed for um, ideas to like flow around and everyone have input. It was, it was a, a good experience. So uh, looking forward, uh, what can we expect from Incognito part two, if that's what it's called and if you know anything about it? I'd say um, keep your ears open, look out for it. It's coming soon, and we're working hard.